Therefore, who hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to the wise man who built his house on the rock. What is the source of your foundation? Let's talk about it. It's a brand new day of new beginnings. Let's celebrate. Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week thus far. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about foundations because last week we talked about breaking generational curses and looking at your spiritual history. And so now we want to lay a new foundation because we have set a new covenant with Christ, right? And we're accepting the salvation and freedom that God has given us through the death of his son, Jesus Christ, right? And so with this new covenant, we want to make sure that we are building a strong foundation, not just for us, but for future generations to continue to build upon, right? So what is the source of your foundation? It's not enough just to say you believe in God. It's not enough just to say you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, right? You have to walk in that truth and you have to walk in that relationship with Christ. So what does that look like? It looks like studying the Word of God each and every day. The Bible is our blueprint to establishing a strong foundation. And we know that the Bible was inspired by God. So it is not a lie. It is not a fairy tale as some people like to believe. No, the Bible is God's living word. It is our blueprint. It is our instruction. It is our manual, whatever you want to look at it as. It is something that is vital to our success. It is something that we need in order to establish a strong foundation of which we build our faith, of which we build future generations, right? So what is your foundation based on? And further on in that verse in Matthew, we learn that the foolish man who built his house upon sand, when the winds came and the storms blew, the house was destroyed and great was its fall. That's what the word of God says. Great was its fall. And so when you don't have a strong, solid foundation built upon the rock that is the rock of ages, right? Our heavenly father, you are leaving yourself open to the attack of the enemy. And if you don't have a strong foundation, great will be your fall. A weak foundation doesn't help you when the storms come because storms will come. The Bible is full of that. The Bible doesn't say that you'll never have hard times and storms will never come. There are many, <laughs> many, 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 many illustrations of storms arising, right? And God delivering his people. But when you have a weak foundation, you won't know to cling to the rock. You won't know that you can pray to God, that you can seek God, that you even in yourself can command the storm to cease and it will do so because you follow under God. And so you have been given an authority with Christ to be able to do all the things that he was able to do and more. And so when your foundation is weak, you are weak. Your mental is weak, your spiritual is weak, and sometimes physically you are weak. So whenever obstacles come against you, whenever principalities seek to threaten you, you don't know how to fight. You don't have a solid ground to stand on. And that is why we go to the Word of God. And that is why we go before God in prayer. Because the Word of God says, pray without ceasing. Prayer is very important in fighting your battles. A lot of people say that some people fight with swords, but I fight on my knees, right? Because we know that when we are tapping into the ultimate source, our almighty God, that nothing, nothing can come against us. No weapon formed against us will prosper because we are connected to our Father, which is in heaven. And so he is strong and we're building that foundation and that covenant with him. And so nothing can break that and nothing can break us. 
So how strong is your foundation? When thinking about doing this video, it made me also think about um, the three little pigs, right? Because while it's important to have a strong and solid foundation, the rock of ages, it is also important to know which materials you are using to build your structure upon that foundation. And so I thought of the three little pigs because there was the one pig who built his house out of straw and hay and the wolf came and huffed and puffed and was able to blow his house down. Same with the pig who built his house from sticks. That wasn't sturdy. <laughs> and the wolf came and destroyed that too, right? But there was a pig who built his house out of brick. And no matter how hard the enemy tried to huff and puff and knock it down and blow him down, it did not work. The enemy did not succeed. And so I want to tell you that while we are building on a strong foundation, make sure the materials you are using to build upon are strong as well. So you need that belief and that covenant and that faith in God. You need the word of God. You need prayer. You need praise, right? You need all of these things because good intentions alone won't get you anywhere. That's likened to building your house out of sticks and hay. You have to act on those intentions. You have to be strong and diligent. You cannot let a moment go by where you're not connected to God, where you're not constantly being in communion with God. And I'm not talking about being on your knees all the time, but you can pray to God while you're cooking, while you're cleaning, while you're doing daily activities. God wants to hear from you. God wants to connect with you because God wants to be able to give you the tools that you need so that you can build a strong and sound structure. Because the future generations depend on it. Your bloodline depends on it. So I want to encourage someone today who may be wondering, well, where do I start? I want a strong foundation. I want to have this relationship with God. It starts with taking the first step, with opening his word and getting to know him better, with praying to him and, and telling him, God, I am seeking you. God, I want to know you better. God, I want to truly hear from you and I want to feel you every day of my life. I invite you into my life. I invite you into this season and into this process, God, so that you can have your way and so that you can help me not only lay a strong foundation, but build with strong material so that my structure is also sound. God can do that for you. God can do that for you because he didn't create weak people, but he created people who could be strong as long as they're tapping into his strength. He created people to know who they are and whose they are so that they could walk confidently in this life and know that no weapon formed against them shall prosper and know that they are wise because they are building their foundation and their houses upon the rock. And so I pray today that you read your word, read the Bible, that you pray more, and that you worship more because worship is important. Praise and worship is so important to your daily life and to your relationship with God that you will see such a miraculous difference when you incorporate this every single day in every aspect of your life. And so if you want to have a healthy foundation and you want to have a strong structure, start with the Word of God and then follow through with praying to God, and then finish it up with praises to our God. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, O oh God, for the person watching this video today. I pray, O oh Heavenly Father, that as we seek to move forward in our lives and do things correctly and in your will, that you will show us how to develop and establish a strong foundation, that you, O oh God, will lead us to your word, O oh God, and that as we open your word, lead us to scriptures, and lead us to psalms and lead us to prayers in your word, O oh God, that we, O oh God, can apply to our daily lives so that we can begin to establish a strong foundation. And Heavenly Father, as we read your word, that you will give us the words to pray, 
that when we choose to connect with you more intimately, O Lord, that you will continue to pour into us, O God, that you will give us the tools, O Lord, and the materials, O God, so that we can build a strong structure, O God, in our faith, O Lord, something that we can pass down from generation to generation, O God because we are healing our bloodline. We are healing, oh God, this our families, oh God, because we have canceled generational curses. And so now we wanna build a new legacy, something that we can pass down. And so we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you are able to do this and even more. And we praise you, oh God, because we know, oh Lord, that you inhabit the praises of your people. And so, Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will come with us on this journey and in this season, O oh God, so that we may worship you, so that we may seek you in your word, and so that we may come to you humbly in prayer, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for showing up for us in miraculous ways, and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Build a strong foundation today. Love you guys. <laughs>